Well, hello everyone. How are you all doing? In this video, we are going to talk about the iPhone XR on the iOS 15.2. We are also going to talk about when the beta 2 of iOS 15.3 will be out and when I expect Apple to release this to public. Also, it's been a long time I've made an iOS video, so hit that like button. And now that you have done that, let's get right in today's video, shall we? All right, so iOS 15.3, I have installed it on my iPhone XR and after installing, I did get around one GB free after installing it. I had around 86 GB free before installing it. And now that I have installed it, I have 87 GB left on my device. That's a small thing that I noticed after updating to this firmware, but it is worth noting for people using 64 gig iPhone or even 256 GB, GB iPhone, I have seen a lot of people who managed to fill even a terabyte on their iPhone. I have no clue how you guys manage to fill that much storage on your devices. Personally, I just can't even uh, fill like whole 64 GB on my device. Anyways, getting back to the topic, iOS 15.3 does not bring a whole lot new to the iOS 15, which was already here, right? 15.2 from the 15.2 to 15.3. There is not a lot that is different, but the bit number, yes, of course, that is different then talking about uh, the cellular connection yes there were some people who were having some cellular connectivity issues on the iphone 10r uh, and uh, a lot of you guys uh, sent me dms on my twitter at the rate tech hype so you can follow me there right a weird plug i know but you guys can follow me on my twitter and they uh, talk to me i respond to pretty much everyone as soon as possible so on twitter you guys said that on your iphone 10r on ios 15.2 you guys were having some weird cellular connectivity issues where uh, there were uh, connection on uh, when you were say on the same carrier with your friend there were uh, the bars network bars on your friend's iphone but it was not available on your device but as soon as you guys did turn on the airplane mode and turned off the airplane mode the bars were there so this was a big issue actually which is I hope so it is resolved by now because I did talk to some of you guys and it seems like it is resolved by now but if this issue is still present let me know in the comments down below or maybe DM me on Twitter so that we can just talk about it and uh, uh, on my follow-up video i can come up with some fixes if there are any talking about the performance the performance is no different compared to the ios 15.2 but yes if you are coming from ios 15.1 there are a lot of performance changes because uh, i did not expect the performance changes to be this much but uh, uh, on the ios 15.2 uh, the ios 15.2 firmware made a lot of devices really smooth and silky like i don't know how but uh, apparently a lot of you guys dm'd me and tweeted this too uh I, yes i do use twitter a lot that's why i'm talking about twitter that much so a lot of you guys were talking about talking to me on twitter that uh, how your device your older devices the iphone 10r feels much better after installing ios 15.2 coming from ios 15 15.0.1 15.1 whichever firmware talking about low power mode and gaming yes a lot of you guys even actually do that i i am pretty sure that 90 percent of you guys do uh turn on the low power mode and play games which actually if you want the best experience you should not do it because a lot of you guys have also talked to me about this and i have always said it is not the firmware which you are blaming that ios 15.2 or 15.3 made my device slow when i'm gaming using low power mode no it is not the firmware it is low power mode low power mode just turns off the performance cores and turns on the efficiency cores and efficiency cores are just uh, much more efficient yes but uh, the performance is just really slow compared to the high performance cores that's why whenever you game and you want the best experience turn off the low power mode and game now talking about the beta 2 release when do i think the ios 15.2 beta 2 will be out to public well i think uh, now that it is the day i'm recording this is 22nd of december i think apple is 
right now on holidays so they won't release it this year at least so i would expect them to release the beta 2 in the first week of january and the second week of january will be the rc and the third week of january will be the official release as always these are not confirmed dates these are not uh, sent to me by apple this is just me predicting because if history is an indication we will see new firmware on the third week of january to public that's pretty much it for this video if this video was helpful entertaining to you guys consider hitting that like button because i keep on doing these type of stuff on this channel and subscribe to the channel for more i am coming up with my s10 plus review which will be really really dope and amazing i swear you guys do not want to miss that one all right peace out have a great day everyone